right here in the United States. You can go to Las Vegas, Nevada, right here in the United States. Why is this a cool place? Well, the party never stops in Vegas, okay? You got endless entertainment options. It is a little pricey when you go on the strip, but you can keep things pretty cheap if you stay off the strip. Like Nurse Chick and I went there earlier this year in January for a TNA wrestling show, and we stayed at the Orleans Hotel. The hotel was not bad. It wasn't it was pretty pretty good. It's a little bit of an older hotel, but it's off the strip, so it was real cheap. It was real cheap. So, as long as you don't stay on the strip, you can keep it pretty low. The estimated cost, including airfare for a week, there is $1,500 to $2,300. I'd say that's probably accurate. So must-see places, you got the Strip, which is a you know a bustling boulevard lined with world-class casinos, extravagant hotels, and famous shows. It's the epicenter of Vegas nightlife and entertainment. You know, Mike Sartain was on my show. He's been on other shows, too, talking about Passport Bros and how it's a, it's not a great strategy. If you want a place where you can go that is easy to hook up and like the nightlife is crazy, like he he's like Vegas is the place to be for a young man. Um, you have the Fremont Street Experience. It's a lively pedestrian mall featuring a dazzling light show, live music, street performers, and plenty of bars to keep the night going. And then you have the High Roller, so you can experience the world's tallest observation reel wheel. Offering stunning views of the Vegas skyline, especially fun at night when the city lights are up. There's just I, it, Vegas is awesome, and there's just so much to do there. It's, <laughs> I, I love going to Vegas. Hey, Viking Paradigm's in the house. What's up, brother? He's just stopping by for a bit so I can hit the like button support. Good topic. Skolt, thank you. Uh, David says Vegas is great for cigar shops at Caesars Palace. Yeah, I'm sure there's lots of good cigar places. There's um. There's lots of scar lounges there, you know, in Vegas. So, so out of all of these so far, I've been to Vegas. <laughs> lots of lots of three hundred fours in Vegas. You know, last year when I was doing the wrestling that wrestling thing with that that jabroni Glenn Lawrence, you know, where I retained my world championship right right here, right there, right. I I retained that. Um. That was fun. We went out to go shoot on the strip and I was walking around with the belt talking to all the street performers and stuff like that. And, uh, and I was walking around with that and some of the Vegas showgirls that are on the street, like came up to me. And, uh, if you go back and watch like that episode of, of, uh, rule zero, when we were doing that, uh, Glenn showed the, the footage of that. It was hilarious. All right. The next one on the list here, we have Cancun, Mexico. And it's popular for beach resorts, lively nightlife, and spring break culture. The estimated cost, including airfare, is about fifteen hundred bucks to twenty two hundred bucks if you're going to stay there for the whole week. Some must see places. I'm going to mess up this. It's um, Chichen Itza, one of the new seven wonders of the world. This ancient Mayan pyramid offers a fascinating glimpse into the history and culture, perfect for a day trip. You have uh, Isla Mujeres. A short ferry right away. This beautiful island is ideal for snorkeling, relaxing on pristine beaches, and enjoying a more laid-back vibe. You have Coco Bongo. It's not just a nightclub, but an entertainment spectacle with acrobats, live performances, and nonstop music, music making it a must experience in Cancun. That all sounds fun. I mean, for fifteen hundred bucks, you know. So some of this stuff, you know, I mean, that won't break the bank. You know, you could easily save up that kind of money just putting you know 10 10 percent away for a couple of months save that up and be able to go and then you're you're going to be paying for a memory right something only only dementia and alzheimer's can take from you like no one can take away memories and these experiences right it's, but a lot of you guys spend your money on crap that you don't even use I personally would much rather spend money on going out, going traveling and having fun experiences and stuff like that, where you can hook up with out of town, strange, <laughs> potentially hook up with out of town, strange. Um, you know, it, what's awesome about these types of resort towns, these types of like getaway destinations is 
like all the women that are going there that aren't from there, they're there for hookups too. It's uh, it's so much easier to to hook up in these places. I remember when I was in the Navy, the when I I went to uh, Puerto Vallarta. No, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, I went to Puerto Vallarta, um, and I was I, I was I married yet? I can't remember if I was married yet, but. I remember like I was kind of dumb, but uh, there was a there was a, a a place I was. No, I wasn't married. I wasn't married. Um, there was a, I went to a senior frogged and I remember uh, I got up on stage. I was drunk. And uh, <laughs> and so someone like they asked me like where I was from. And I said I was from South Park, Colorado. And uh, some chick in the some chick in the crowd was from from, you know, Colorado. And um she like made her way out to the dance floor to come and talk to me and dance with me and stuff. She was like really into me making like really strong eye contact. And if I, if I knew what I, if I knew then what I knew now, I, I, pr I probably could have taken her back. I didn't have like, I didn't have a hotel though. I was staying on the ship. So I would have had to like say, Hey, where's your place? Let's go back to your place. But um, I was a being a puss. <laughs> All right. Number five, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Why? Beautiful beaches, warm climate, and a lively nightlife. The estimate estimated cost, including airfare, is about two grand to twenty eight hundred bucks. So most of these, like so far, I'm trying to think here, it looks like Ibiza, Spain's the most expensive so far, because all these are all these other ones are under three grand. Um, Ibiza, Spain was was uh, twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred. But yeah, Mexico trips are, are pretty cheap. Brazil's a little bit more pricier than Mexico. So 2000 to 2800 bucks. Must see places. Coca Cabana Beach, one of the world's most famous beaches. Perfect for sunbathing, playing beach ball, ball, volleyball, and enjoying a lively atmosphere. You have Christ the Redeemer, an iconic statue offering breathtaking views of Rio, making it a fun and awe-inspiring visit for panoramic uh, cityscapes. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Subscribe now.